Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. A day after a few private hospitals in Odisha allegedly denied cashless treatment facilities to beneficiaries of the BSKY, citing a change in government, the H&FW department, Odisha has clarified that all the BSKY beneficiaries will continue to avail the cashless healthcare services. Fearing that the scheme may be discontinued and their dues may not be cleared due to the change in government, some hospitals reportedly denied accepting BSKY cards. A couple of days after the unforeseen defeat of Navin Patnaik led Biju Janata Dal in recently concluded Odisha Assembly polls, two retired IAS officers, Suresh Chandra Mahapatra and R. Balakrishnan, resigned as chief advisors to the Chief Minister's Office and Special Initiatives. The resignations of the two key bureaucrats came to the fore after the General Administration and Public Grievance Department Thursday issued an office order dated June 5 regarding the acceptance of the resignations. BJP leader Aparajita Sarangi announced that Prashant Jagadev is recovering well and will be discharged in a few days after meeting him at SCB Katak Wednesday. Jagadev, who recently won the Khorda Assembly seat, was arrested for allegedly toppling an EVM during the third phase of polling in Odisha. Sarangi also celebrated her victory, claiming the Bhubaneswar Lok Sabha seat with a significant margin over the BJD candidate. BJP ally Janata Dal United leader KC Tyagi Thursday said his party has demanded for a review of the Agnipath scheme and will pursue the caste census issue, which he asserted was a need of the time. Tyagi said his party's support for the BJP was unconditional. A total of 2,600 cooks and water carriers, the lowest rung of the constabulary that constitute an essential backbone of the CRPF, have been promoted for the first time in the 85-year history of the country's largest paramilitary force. The CRPF has a total authorization of 12,250 personnel for the two specialized cadres that handle the extensive network of kitchens, canteens and similar administrative works for the about 3.25 lakh men and women strength force raised in 1939. A Delhi court Thursday granted bail to Congress leader Karthi Chidambaram in a money laundering case linked to the alleged Chinese visa scam. Special Judge for Enforcement Directorate and CBI Kaveri Baveja granted the relief to the accused after he appeared before the court in pursuance to summons issued against him. The Enforcement Directorate has accessed crucial documents on how suspended Trinamool Congress leader Sheikh Shah Jahan sold land owned by the people of Sandesh Khali. Sources said that Shah Jahan's men used to forcefully get the signatures of land owners or the power of attorney authorizing him to sell that land to a third party. At least nine Indian trekkers died in the Himalayas after getting trapped during a blizzard, authorities said Thursday as rescue teams airlifted their bodies and five survivors to safety. The Indian Air Force shared footage Thursday that showed rescue teams working near a helicopter in the snow-covered mountains. China Thursday protested to India over Prime Minister Narendra Modi's social media statement that he looked forward to having closer ties with Taiwan, insisting that New Delhi should resist Taiwan authorities' political calculations. China views Taiwan as a rebel province that must be reunified with the mainland even by force. An Israeli strike early Thursday on a school turned shelter in central Gaza that the military said was being used as a Hamas compound killed at least 30 people including 5 children, according to local health officials. The strike came after the military said it was launching new air and ground operations in central Gaza and an international medical group reported soaring casualties. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.